Hello viewers, I'm the Madman, and welcome to Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins. Let's start. Yeah viewers, so from what you guys can guess, Condemn won the little election I had. Yeah, it was pretty close vote, viewers. Uh, Condemn got 22 votes, The Suffering got 13 votes, and some of you guys wanted me to do the Silent Hill. Three of you guys wanted me to do Silent Hill. But uh, the GameStop I went to didn't have any PS1 games, or actually any GameStop that I went to didn't have any PlayStation 1 games. And since I only left the video off for a week, uh, I wasn't going to go on like on eBay or Amazon.com and buy Silent Hill and then wait two weeks for the game to show up. I mean, come on. This game is cool, dark, and violent. What more can you ask for? <laughs> Alright, let's start. Internal report 898. Unexplained surge in crime rate. Ooh, that's not good. Must be in downtown LA. <laughs> I'm just playing, viewers. There's the protagonist, viewers. Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Bodies this way. Ethan Thomas, viewers. I'm getting too old for this. All right. Oh yeah, another thing I like about this game. You, you can actually see your character's legs. In most first person games viewers, well first person shooters or first person anything, you normally you don't see your character's legs, but well, it's kind of impressive. I mean, Thomas, there's nothing outside. The body's in the building. Come on, let's go. Body's rotten as we speak. Oh, how lovely. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Old damn city's crawling with sick killers. Why'd you ah, uh, there you go. Why'd you, yeah, why'd you stop that? Matter? Why do they always have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps? Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? Some place not so damn dark. Oh, Jesus, Davis. You really shot the bastard. Whoa, that's a big rat. God, this place is creeping me. Oh yeah, sure. Blame my car. I hear you're afraid of the dark. <sighs> yeah, blame my car. It's always the car that did it. <laughs> For all we know, it could have been JFK's limousine that killed him. One fourteen. One fourteen. Report in. Have the feds arrived? Becker here. FBI on the scene. Over and out. Copy that. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Hi, Becker. Becker found the body on patrol. Agent? Officer? Alright. Let's get down to work. Ah. How lovely. Psst. 
Thomas. Hello, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. All right, let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. All right. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. All right. Use the UV light on the corpse and find the trauma point. It'll glow a bright purple. All right. Ah, there we go. All right, let's get a better look. Sorry, viewers, that, that guy just looks like the jigsaw killer. Oh, man, man, that, 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 that's just freaky looking. I mean, I mean, look, the eyes on the wall, the faceless mannequin dolls. It, you. All right. Run the laser light over the crime scene, and if there's evidence, it will show up a bright green. Hey, Becca, get the lights. The agent's laser works better in the dark. What? The dark? <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, let's zoom in. There we go. Processing image. That's it. The same mark. <laughs> exact same MO as the others? It's the work of a guy we've been calling the matchmaker. Kills young women violently, poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Sick bastard. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. <sighs> Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. I don't smoke. Well, someone was. Huh? Uh-oh. It's coming from in here. Mm. <laughs> Looks like the killer hasn't left yet, viewers. Well. Dang it. I can smell the cigarette smoke. Uh, oh, there it is. He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspect still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becker, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. Clear, Agent. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful. And viewers, this will be a good time for a break. <laughs> Sorry to leave you guys hanging, but ain't I a stinker? <laughs> okay, viewers. Sorry this video wasn't exactly entertaining, but believe me, th this game gets better. So next time, viewers, on Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins, 
we go after who shut whoever shut the power off on us. Looks like the killer hasn't left yet. So tune in next time for more viewers. Later.